So part one, we already done with part one. It's integration by parts, integrals involving parts of sine and cosine. Hindi naman natin, no? may mga cases sa integrals involving powers of sine and cosine. Ano uli yun? Pag even, anong gagamitin natin? Iba yung gagamitin pang uh, um, ang tayo, identity. Pag, pag add, iba rin yung gagamitin identity. Okay? So, yun yung mga dapat tayong tanda para pag ma-encounter yung isang problem, ah, kani even ni, kani add ni. So, muna niya akong gamitin ng identity. So, you have to recall all those things. Then, integrals or functions of the form sine mx, cosine nx, yun yung diniscuss kanina. So, this time, we are going to discuss integrals involving powers of tangent, cotangent second, and cosecond functions. And then, if we still have time, we can start discussing integration by trigonometric substitution. Okay. And in part B, I will just leave this to you later on. Para mula pa kung ano ba kung PowerPoint dito na pa siguro. Okay. But anyway, let's see. So, part 2A. T loss involving powers of tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecond function. Just like what I did earlier, the source of this is your textbook which is light hold, the calculus with Analytic Geometry by Louis Lightfoot. So if you have the text, then you can just uh, review it back there. So we have integral of tangent u. Yes, the bang definition ng tangent u kay sine over cosine. So you simply integrate po ang sine over cosine. So if we let v be equal to cosine of u and dv be equal to negative sine of u du, then you have the following. You are able to make use of your Integral of u dv, the formula. So, hindi na natin ito isosolve. Uh, you just have the integral of tangent u is equal to negative ln of v plus c. Uh, claro naman po siya siguro kay dv over v, integral of du over u, di ba? Kay ln of u. So, that's negative mandaan dari is a negative ln of v. So, the formula for tangent of u is now equal to ln of second u plus c. Let's have the first illustration. Tangent, integral of tangent of 3x dx. From direct substitution from the formula, so if we directly substitute, that's what we like to do from here, the integral of, ang u natin is 3x. Okay? So, integral of tangent 3x Ang du natin will now be 3 dx. But the formula for integral of tangent is ln of second. So ln of second 3x plus c. And in 3 dx, mo naman ang yung du, di ba? If you have the formula kay integral of tangent of u, du equals ln of second of u plus c. Kani yung ato ang u dx? So, you have one third, one third tangent of 3x dx. Why? If your u is 3x, if your u equals 3x, then ang du natin kay 3 dx. Meaning to say, ang inyo hang du that can be replaced by you know, tangent of u du that is written as okay, tangent of tangent of and in 3x na to 3x man inyo na to then you have du over 3 that is your So you have one third tangent of 3x, that is your one third u over 3. Diba? Then you have your tangent of u. Tangent of u du will give you the ang, ang dx nato, kaninga dx is supposed to be your du over 3. Tangent 3x. So you have one third integral of 
tangent of u t. But what is tangent, integral tangent of u? Can you ln? So you have one third ln of second of u plus c. That's why you have, yung sa malang yun yun, balik na po mo dito sa 3x. So you have one third ln of second of, balik sa 3x. Plus, yeah, plus. So the following formula is derived in a similar way to the derivation of 2. So similarly, so on sana first na tong formula kani. This one is the first formula. The second formula is ang cotangent integral sa cotangent kay ln of sine u plus c. So on first integral of tangent of u du equals ln of second of u plus c. So not the integral sa cotangent is ln sine u plus c. To integrate integral of second u, we multiply the numerator and denominator of the integrant by second of u plus tangent of u. So therefore, ang integral na po sa second of u, kani derivation na po just, just so you can, in case, dili maka memorize, maka balung mag derive. Huh? Integral of second u, du is ln second u plus tangent u. Integral of cosecond u, du is ln. So, ang say difference sa cosecond, pag cosecond kay, you have cosecond minus cotangent. Pag second, integral niya yung second plus tangent. Pero parela sila na ln. You have the following two indefinite integral formulas follow immediately from the corresponding differentiation formula. So these are the other formulas. Second squared u du, and second u tangent u du. So the other one, the last one here is your formula for cosecond squared u du. These are the proofs. But I'm not going to deal on the proofs that much. Pero ito mga important kasi yung mga cases. So, the integral of tangent to the n u d u or cotangent, or integral of cotangent to the n u d u, this time where n is a positive integer. So, when n is a positive integer, gagawin is tatanggalan siya ng 2. So, n minus 2. We write this as tangent to the n minus 2 u tangent squared para Maririte natin ang tangent squared. Remember, nag-solve tayo kanina na ang tangent squared is equal to second squared u minus 1. So because you can rewrite your tangent squared as second squared u minus 1, you'll now be able to rewrite your tangent n minus 2 times this, times second squared, then tangent n minus 2 times negative 1. Similarly, pag cotangent n minus 2, Tanggalin na lang yung, yung exponent na 2. So, minus 2. And you can rewrite pag cotangent squared. Ang equation is cotangent squared is the same as your cosecant squared u minus 1. In fact, you can, again, mag-derive tayo para madali nyo matandaan ulit. Ha? Diba, i-derive mo na ito itong saan. No? So, if you have your cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. If we divide this by this time, cosecant squared is 1 over sine squared, no? So, divide this by sine squared. So, divide by sine squared x, divide by sine squared x, divide by sine squared x. Cosine divided by sine squared is your cotangent squared x plus this one is 1 equals 1 over sine squared chi cosecant squared x. So meaning to say, anong cotangent ninyo dari can now be written as cotangent squared x equals anong balining 1 cosecant oops, cosecant squared x minus 1. Okay. Oops, yung klaro minus 1. Ano siya? Ano? So, basic again yung pag-derive para makuha nyo. So, kanina, derive naman nato earlier. So, ang tangent squared u is the same as your second.
So, tangent cube. So, pag tangent cube, tanggalan siya ng 2, no? Tanggalan ng 2, you will have tangent x, then mahin mo siyang tangent squared. So, kung saan ang tangent squared, gani? Gani, second squared x minus 1. But, tangent x, then distribute tayo ng tangent. So, you have tangent x, second squared x, dx, minus, pag distribute, pag balin ani, you will have negative tangent x. So, negative Nya, kabalo mo mag-integrate sa tangent x. Kaning tangent x second squared. Ang sama ni, you have actually your, di ba na yung formula? Sa integral sa tangent x o sa integral sa tangent, kani direct. So, uh, integral of tangent q, halang cosine, halang cosine na siya, correct lang halang cosine, cosine x. So, application na lang bali ng derivatives. Kung tangent to the fourth, Pag cotangent to the fourth, again, what do you do? Cotangent squared. So, tanggalin ulit yung 2. So, cotangent squared 3x. The fourth, maging cotangent squared. But your cotangent squared is this again, formula. So, pareho lang your method. But what happens when you have integral of second to the n, where n is a positive even integer? So, kung even na, then you will have to n minus 2 u cosecant squared u and then your cotangent squared ay yun ang divide by 2 n minus 2 divided by 2 so pag n minus 2 you minus 2 then divide pag siya by 2 so kung 6 siya you will have pag 6 divide 6 so you have 2 there divided by 2 uh, that's why you only have two here. Let's see. And case four is if you have m is a passive add integer. So, pag passive add integer, naman, you have the following. What are you going to do? I mean, four. Then six. Ang m dit ang sa ang m nagira for niya is nasa Kanino? Nasa tangent or nasa cotangent. Positive add. So, that's why you have here add ang inyong 5 sa tangent. So, pwede po nasa cotangent. If that is the case, then what are you going to do? You have 4 there. Then, yung isang ano niya, ang galing sa tangent. So, 4 minus 1. So, you have tangent x. Iwan yung even. But the even 1 can be written as second squared x minus 1. Then, because that's 4, that's why it's squared. So, gamitin ulit yung kanina na kanina na ginawa natin. Okay? I-rewrite ulit siya in terms of that. Then, second 6x to second x tangent x dx. I'm sorry, but you have to do a lot of practice in trying to solve all of this. Kasi kung ano yung mga cases na lalabas, then that's how you try to apply the formulas. Okay? Masusundan pa ba? Makafollow pa mo sa kadagan sa formulas? Yes, Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> Sige. Sige. Uh, practice lang yun, Misha. Ha? Practice. So, actually, nine, 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 wala, wala, wala ako nagbutang ang problem. Ma'am, appeal ni sa kwan. Ay, wala ni appeal sa, sa finals na ni. Ang sa midterm ninyo, kay tama lang dito sa B and C. Kani finals finals na niya topic na kung ginawa niya. Ah, thank you, ma'am. So integration by parts on on part one is used to integrate tangent integral tangent to the m u second to the n u d u integral of cotangent m u cosecant n u d u when m is a passive integer integer even integer and n is an odd integer. So that's that's where I B P is being used up again. So, our next topic is already an integration by trigonometric substitution. But I'm not going to discuss this one now. And kahit morag, kwan kayo overloaded na mo, pati ako of info. So, na naman mo yung mga numbers mo. So, 1 to 10. Um, si number 1. Okay, ako na rin pang assign kayo para mag-group ma so ganyan after the exam. So, kwan pa man po ni submit and this. After so number one, page twenty-nine. So number one, number one, number two, 
3, 4, 5. Sabala naman sa inyo mga number, no? So, sa number 1 is 1. Number 2 is 2, 3, 4, 5 is 5, 6 is 6, 7, 7, 8, 9. 10. Number 11 po is number 1 ng Yapon. 12 is 2, 13. 14, 4, 5, 15, 17, 8, 18, 9, 19, 20, sa 10. Then 21 is unto 1 Yapon. 22 is to 2. 23 is to 3. 24 is to 4. 25 is to 5. 26 is to 6, 27 is to 7, 28 is to 8, 29 is to 9, 30 is to 10. Then 31 is to 1, 32 is to 2, 33 is to 3, 33, 34 is to 4, 35 is to 5, 36 is 6, 37 is to 7, 38 is to 8, 39 is to 9. And 40 is to 10. Then 41 is to 1. Okay. Nasundan? Lahat ng 1, 11, 21, 31, and 41, yung mga numbers ninyo, na binigay ko last meeting, you have to solve number 1. Number 2 will, uh, lahat ng 2, 12, 22, and 32, you solve number 2. Number 3 is 3, 13, 23, and 33. Up to 10. Ang sa number 10, will solve Ang number 10, ang mag-solve is 10, 20, 30, and 40. Yun yung mga numbers ninyo. Okay? That is on page 29. Nasundan? Nag-gets na ninyo? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Dari na po sa sunod. 1 to 10. Sa same number yung gihapon. So, ang sa page 30, lahat ng 1... Si, si number 1, 11, 21, 31, si number 41, ang isolve ninyo is number 1. Si number 2, 12, 22, 32, ang isolve ninyo is number 2. Okay? So, kanin, di pa ninyo naman solve, kanin, diri, kanin sa trigonometric substitution, kaya di lupa man nato ma-discuss today. So, I will discuss pa man it next meeting. At least, kung ano, kung magbasa mo daan, makasolve po ba yan mo kung... Then, ang atong mga... Na yung mga tutorials sa Math Lamar into classes if you would like to to learn more about trig substitution. Kani, gwapo ni siya kay medyo basic at the same time uh, complete na ano siya. Kanang, what do you call this one? Step by step. Kani po, similarly about integrals with trigonometric substitution. So, an open stocks book. This is a book kung wala mo ni katong light hold, pwede nyo gamitin po ni enter over the net yung hapon ni. So, open stocks mean to say it's free for all. So, you can do that. Nandito yung mga ano. So, mga link man eh, can actually just click on the link. So, I guess I'll just stop from here. So, bali nag-end tayo. Let me see. Nag-end tayo sa anong page kaya para Next meeting, ka nang akong discuss. Kani, nag-end pa sa page. 20, hindi na tapos yung kayo mag tas So, page 20, and then napata. This is on part 2A. Then napata ay part 2B. On part, part 1 and part 2A, I think na post na. Ang part 2B, wala pa na akong inisiyang trabaho. So, I still am to this. Then, um, this is on E, no? Then, ang um, B... So, A, B, C, D, E. So, ang A, first prelim. B, C is your midterms. Then, D, E would be for your finals. Now, any questions or clarification at this point? Everyone. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Keep ending. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mom. Bye, Mom. Yes, bye.